Hi everyone, it's Conrad Fisher greeting you from the main reading room of the New York City main branch of the Public Library, talking to you about Step 3 USMLA, Step 3 Comlex, the big picture. The biggest thing that you need to know about Step 3 preparation is get it over with. Henceforth, I postpone no more, wimper no more, ask nothing. And now it is time for you simply to set the date. So in the big picture of step three USMLE preparation, what's your biggest obstacle? Procrastination, putting it off. Oh my God, do I really have to go back and study all those other specialties again? I really don't want to. So let me help you with something. If you're already matched in, in a residency, USMLE Step 3 is basically a pass-fail examination. The grade doesn't matter, you're already in residency, just get it over with. Next, a lot of programs have a requirement for you to pass Step 3 USMLE in order to get a third year contract. And if you think that program directors are not serious about that, you are dead wrong. We had to dismiss two residents last year, interrupt their training. They lost a year of their life in terms of training because they thought it wasn't really going to happen. Next, if you are not in residency, if you're a U.S. graduate, you can't take step three until you've got at least one postgraduate year. So it's non-starter. Number two, if you're an international graduate, you need step three USMLE if you want to be on an H visa. So it becomes very important. If you're an international graduate who needs a visa, passing step three makes you much more marketable. So therefore, that is one of the other big reasons to get it over with. Now here's the hard part. If you don't need that visa and you're an IM and you're saying, I passed step one and two, should I take step three before I apply? It depends on what your grade is. If your step one and two grade were 210 and 210, you should definitely take step three because you can get a 220 or a 230. And that 220 compared to the 210s makes you look good. Now, what if you had a 240 and 250 and had high grades on USMLE 1 or 2 or Comlex 1, 2? Then don't take it because if you had grades like 240 and 250, now that same 220 on step 3 or the 230 on step 3 makes it look worse, makes it look like it's a drop. So here's the biggest advice. If you've got low step 1 and 2 scores, take step 3. It'll make you look better. If you've got high step 1 and 2 scores, don't take step 3 until after you're into residency if you're an IMG. If you're a U.S. graduate, your single biggest opponent is procrastinating this test. Get it over with, set the date, move forward, and don't take last minute assessment exams because all they will do is blow your confidence. If you're a U.S. graduate, you have a 92% chance of passing this thing on the first time. And the main thing is to finish it so you can go studying your own specialty. Be at peace. Finish this test and relax.